You look me in the eyes and tell me I wouldn't cut rock, the rock open, stone cold, and everyone up. You tell me I wouldn't. Okay, come on, big guy. Come on, come on big guy. Come on, come on, big guy. Come on, do, 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 do. You tell me that's how the fuck it wouldn't play out, nigga. Fifth. First of all, can we agree that being a martial artist isn't about being an Arabian gymnast? It isn't about being a bodybuilder. Go, go be with those idiots who don't think and are big and slow like an atheistic Satanist or some from the Temple of Set or some bitch shit like that. You know, you Bill O'Reilly, Jay Leno, King of the Hell looking motherfuckers, man. Come on, you hacky sacks. You hacky sacks, come on. Come on, you dwarves and shit, you mini memes, come on. No one takes you seriously. We all know martial arts comes from rural areas and people who think like me. They don't come from little pretty liberal fucking studios from liberal bank loans from atheistic Jews in Tel Aviv, Israel. Okay, and they're fucking subsidiaries, conglomerates, and transnational corporations, you little bitch, you little Ford Foundation, little sissies. Okay, everyone, everyone knows that. Apparently somebody wasn't paying a fucking attention. Somebody should have been paying attention. This is an Ikenga blade, something similar, okay? It is the white knockoff of the Ikenga blades, rather. Now you tell me I wouldn't slice open IP man knife to knife. I wouldn't bust his fucking head open toe to toe. And I wouldn't gouge out his eyes. That I'm not more athletic and agile than he is. I wouldn't rip open fucking Scott Axon's throat in a fucking split second. I wouldn't outmaneuver Jay White's big, slow fucking ass and chop him up. You tell me that. You look me in the eyes and tell me I wouldn't cut rock, the rock open, stone cold, and everyone up. You tell me I wouldn't. Okay, come on, big guy. Come on, come on big guy. Come on, come on, big guy. Come on. Do. 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 You tell me that's how the fuck it wouldn't play out, nigga. 15 hits in 1.2 seconds, you little sniveling pussies from my boxing range. So you go home and you tell your girlfriends that, that you USC trainers don't know shit about history. You haven't read one martial arts book, and you want to comment with your Greco-Roman, Nancy boy, Hollywood, homosexual, induendo, and you want to come at me like a queer. Now you come at me like a man with tradition from Africa, rural areas, deserts, jungles. Okay, I'm sick of these bitch ass niggas who don't even know what they're talking about. Tell me I'm not the top. Nigga, read a fucking book! I am the top! And your racist head on ancestors! And on ancestors, I'd pay them if they could beat me. But they can't! So do yourselves a favor and stop playing yourselves out. Pretending they could. Steven Seagal is slow, too slow to keep up with me. I doubt him whenever I kill him. He's a gump. I mean, I could go through the list, okay? You want to go through the list of everyone in history? Bruce Lee is not as fast as I am. He couldn't cut the distance. He has a cool little knight tights, little uh, uh, martial art body. But I cut him the fuck open like a little chicken little. And every last one of you knows it. We can go through every celebrity. Chuck Norris, that slow, gumpy fucking wipe. Are you kidding me? That motherfucker couldn't do fucking 10 hits in 1.2 seconds for my boxing range. Would I'd, I'd fucking kill him. So I saw, I, I would fucking kill him. Name one martial artist that you've ever even heard of that I wouldn't fucking gut. So don't you sit there. Now, I'm not threatening anyone, okay? I'm making this clear that this is what happens when non-blacks in secret societies, in political groups, and in community organizations and etc. institution, military, etc. They come together because they want to take the black man's shit like the fucking neocolonialists in Africa. Read a book, understand why I'm right and why you're just a little cowardly, conformist, worldly bitch like a fucking American typical whore if you don't take my side. Thank you.